It's Washington dysfunction at its absolute worst. Unreasonable demands, no negotiating, and lots of name calling. That was a year and a half ago, and for me, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm Dr. Mary Lawrence. When Congress shut down the government, I was the interim executive director of the Department of Defense, Department of Veterans Affairs, Vision Center of Excellence in Washington. We were dedicated to the care of our wounded warriors with serious eye and vision injuries, many of whom had suffered these devastating injuries on the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. After the shutdown, we were forced to furlough most of our staff. And the work we were doing for service members and veterans' care and research was jeopardized. I was really fed up. I've been an ophthalmologist, educator, and eye surgeon my entire career, serving veterans for the last 17 years. I was all too aware of the hurdles our men and women face when they come home. And there I was, seeing Washington Gridlock create yet another one, hurting our ability to provide the best possible care to the very people that raised their hands and volunteered to go into harm's way. And that's when I decided it was time to stand up and do something about it. So today I'm running for Congress. As kids, my family moved around, but my parents grounded us with Midwestern values. And from my grandfather, a minister, I learned that our faith calls us to serve others, to leave our communities a better place than we found them. That's why my husband Jim and I chose to raise our three boys here, because Minnesotans look out for each other. It's a place where every hockey mom is welcome, and it's a community that knows what matters. I'll never forget when my clinic supervisor insisted I leave work one afternoon to go to my son's preschool graduation. That's what makes Minnesota special. The problem is we don't see these values reflected in Congress these days. And it's not just our veterans who are being hurt by our dysfunctional politics. Middle-class families across Minnesota used to know that if they worked hard, they could put food on the table and a roof over their head and send their kids to college. Now, too many are struggling just to make ends meet. So when Congress is obsessed with scoring political points instead of serving the people who pay their salary, something's got to change. I'm not a partisan fighter. I don't think compromise is a dirty word. And right now, Congress could use a little Minnesota common sense. If I have the honor of serving you, I'll listen to good ideas no matter where they come from, and I'll never forget who I work for. Not a political party, not Washington special interest, you. Please join our campaign and together we'll do our part to make a difference.